What's up guys? In this video, we're going to go through how to make some film soup. So grab your favorite cooking apron. Let's head over to the kitchen. So for the ingredients, you can literally, you can use anything. You see, I've got quite a, a myriad of things here in, in this particular soup, but I mean, examples, any, any kind of household item, food, you know, your, your imagination is, is the limit really. A couple examples are lime juice, you can do like food coloring, printer inks, cleaners, bleach. Now basically the, the rule of thumb is the higher the acidity of whatever it is you're, you're mixing in is going to give a stronger effect. You might even be wondering why, why would you want to do this? Why mess up my precious pictures, right? Well, you know, you can get some really unexpected awesome results just by doing this. And, you know, unexpected being, you know, underlined maybe five times, you know, you could get some crazy colors, some color shifts, rainbows, spots, you know, all the way up to like, like an abstract kind of destructive. It, it's basically ruining the emulsion. And again, the, the longer you leave it in, the stronger it's going to be. So, you know, no, no two pictures most likely really are going to be the same. Now, I just want to point out. You know, please be careful when you're combining chemicals, okay? Especially if it's like cleaners. You know, if you notice here, I'm, I'm totally being a ding-dong. I didn't wear any kind of gloves. And especially using the, the toilet cleaner. It's got some nasty stuff in it, man. Um, I just didn't even think about it. Now, how I mix is I will shoot the roll first and then I will soup. I, I do this because I don't want crap in my camera you know it just makes sense to me to to put the put the crap in after it's been in my camera some will do it the other way around and and they want to soup the film before they shoot it and they go through like a whole rinse and, and dry process uh, some people will put it in rice or silica gel for days and then you know set it on a radiator for like a month um, that's that's not how i do it you know i'll basically shoot it and then i will soup it and then right after that I'll go ahead and, and I rinse it and I develop it. Now as far as the amount of time on how long to let it sit in the soup for this particular mix I, I think it was an hour. I, I pulled it out after an hour and I'll show some of the images man. I got some some wild awesome images out of this roll. I was really really happy. Some cool uh, some cool rainbow effects and you know it was it seemed to be just right for the mixture that I used. Now, after the roll has, has been mixed up, it's it's sitting in the chemicals for, you know, for an hour, for a 24 hour. Some people, you know, will soup up to a day or longer. Um, but however long you're going to let it soup, you definitely want to to rinse it afterwards. And, you know, I would rinse it for, for no less than, than 15 minutes. And then I just basically take it immediately uh, and I develop it. I don't recommend sending souped film out to the lab. It's, it's totally not cool because... These chemicals can botch other people's rolls of film. You know, you may want to call your lab up and say, hey, I've got this, you know, funky concoction. Can I send it to you? Some some labs will say, hey, absolutely, you know, and, and they'll make a special run or, or they'll do it at the end of the run. And, you know, but you definitely want to contact, uh, you know, contact the lab and say, hey, this is what I'm sending you. You know, nobody likes surprises. And knowing that basically whatever concoction I, I made up is going to ruin my chemicals, um, I will run it at the end of, because I'll develop, you know, at, at home, and I will just run it at the end of a batch. I'll get a, a unicolor kit, and I'll run maybe 10 rolls of, of normal C41 through. And then when, you know, the, the chemicals are kind of starting to turn, uh, I know they're on their way out. You know, then I'll start to push in some some soup rolls, and because I don't care if the chemicals get funky then, because I've, I've had use with them. You know, I'm, I'm done. And if you want to check out how to develop your own color film at the house, I have another video I, I just put out. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link below here. It seems like the the images in the beginning of the roll seem to take more damage. And I don't know if that's always the case. It just it seems to be the case with, you know, how I I go about my sequence of, of souping film. It may be totally different, you know, if, if you dry the film or if you do it, you know, in another sequence than I've done it. Uh, but again, it, it just seems like the majority of the damage, it kind of starts in the beginning and, and works its way back. And I want to show you just a couple examples of uh, some of the images that I got off of this roll. This first one here, uh, this is basically a starter frame right off the leader. Like there was no image, you know, taken with this. This, you know, you can see there's some really funky stuff going on and there's no image. 
So these three frames are basically the same scene. Uh, I shot them consecutively and it kind of shows you just how individual each frame will be. And here are some of the other favorites that I had from this role. That about wraps it up, guys. If you found the video helpful, or if you've enjoyed watching, if you could do me a favor and please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any film friends that might find souping interesting, or maybe you have some digital shooter friends that you're trying to convince to, to hop the fence over, uh, you know, show them this video and, and this might just be the push they need. But if this is your first introduction into film souping and, and you think you're going to try it, uh, let me know how it goes and let me know what you use. You know, tag me or DM me. Um, I'd, I'd be really curious to see how everything turned out. If you're not a subscriber, I'll, I'll put like a little bubble thingy up in this corner here. Um, you know, click that. And every couple days I'm coming out with new videos. Some are how-tos like this. Others are reviews and overviews on cameras. Uh, pretty much everything is film photography related. So if, if that's your, you know, your kind of thing, go ahead, click the button and subscribe. And uh, you'll get the latest and the greatest. Until next time. We'll see ya. My cameraman's about to laugh. <laughs> He's so loud. <laughs> <laughs>